Oh my. Wrap it up. We're done. <laughs>
Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> Tastes more of like a. I think the last one felt a little hotter than this one does, but give it a second. I think this one's, yeah, I can slowly feel it starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, all right, so about two years ago, we ran a little bit of a campaign that was, you know, what's your why, what drives you, what motivates you. Uh, and whenever I heard your story, you know, what, what your goals were, it, it really inspired me and I think a, a lot of people here in the company. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, a goal that you had that I know you recently accomplished? Bought a house. Okay. For Whose house was it? My parents. Okay. And I, and I basically, it's, you know, I bought it because I got tired of it. You know, they're, they're over 70 and they're, I want them to be able to relax and enjoy life. You know, it's hard to when you reach that age like that. And uh, so security just isn't enough for a lot of people these days. So I bought their house for them and uh, I basically took over any of their financial responsibility so they can enjoy their retirement, enjoy their social security. That was a big goal for me. Yeah. Well, I've been wanting to do that for the last uh, three, four years. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about it whenever, when I first came on and it was just, uh, that's I wouldn't awesome. have been able to do that in construction. No. And I know some guys could, it could, you know, and have and do um, where I was in my life. This, the, the job here and the job as a driver has given me more opportunity than I've had in the last probably 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that, for, personally, I want to thank you because I know I didn't have a whole lot to do with that, but you helped us, or you let us as a company um, help you achieve that. You and, help me every day. <laughs> But, uh, you helped me. You, you've helped me a lot since you've been here. Yeah, you, know, you really have. And, yeah. and, and I'm actually, I'm actually to see how well you've grown here. Oh, I think sure. that's impressive. Yeah, thank you. you know, so I, I think that's very cool because uh, yeah. you, you seem to have a nice little home here, and, and I, yeah. I hope I can, I hope I can be a part of it as long as you know. Yeah. Throughout the years, I hope 20 years from now we still, we still, <laughs> how 20 years from now are we still doing it here. Yeah. You know, me I too. Yeah. I look forward to it. Cause yeah, yeah cause you you come up too. Thank you, thank you. It's dedication, it's motivation, it, it's it's uh, it's yeah. fun, it's exciting. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, you ready to move on to the next one? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Tears of the Sun, sixty-nine thousand Scoville units. Nice. Just got real. Yeah, just. <laughs> you don't need another bite. Just talk. <laughs> wow. That just uh. That just changed a lot of things. <laughs> that changed the whole scope. Of the <laughs> wow. I'm not sweating, but that one just put my mouth on fire. Warm me up a little bit. Yeah, that, that, my, my whole, uh, uh. All right, uh, Daisy, I hear Daisy, uh, been by your side for a couple years now. Three now. Yeah, I remember when we got you through and you let me, you told me, hey, I'm gonna go meet a dog, see if it's a good fit. Can you tell me a little bit about First time that uh, you guys met, and well, a friend of mine got her out of a shelter. It was a kill shelter. She had been brought back like three or four times, from my understanding, and I believe she didn't want to bring her back because she was afraid they were going to put her down. And I had mentioned on one of my pages on Facebook that I was going to, that I was looking for a buddy to roll with. And so she called me and she said, "Hey, I got this dog. You want to come and meet her?" Mm -hmm. She was got cooked dinner for you, come over and have dinner and meet her. And so I was like, all right. So I went there and when I got to the house, Daisy came up to me right away. And the whole time we had dinner, she sat right next to me and, you know, I was patting her and stuff and we connected immediately. Yeah. I mean, immediately, like the bond was there. So throughout the last three years, I can definitely say 
she's helped me as I think as much as I've helped her. Yeah. So yeah, it's been yeah. it's been a, a great experience. Yeah, and Daisy's almost become like a mascot of the company, and uh, Daisy's been involved in some photo shoots and. Uh, she knows when she's here. You told me when, she, when you're driving oh. into the lot, she starts going crazy at the she, window. She knows exactly she where she's at. She still does. You let her out, she always comes flying in. We always know when you're here because Daisy comes darting in about. I let her. I, I, yeah. I open up that door and I say, go. She, she yeah. takes off. She wants. There's people she's got to see. Yeah. She's going to go up to everyone and get, get that little pet. And, yeah. yeah. It's she, good to have a companion out there, too. Like, it is. You know what? I, um, I think because I run. As long as I do, for the most part, um, I spend a lot of time alone, and when it really opened my eyes up to how much you really get into your own head when you're out there on the road by yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and no matter what kind of music you listen to, or, or talk radio, or, or audio books, you still get into your own head. Yeah. And so I realized having her really helped me focus on loving something else besides myself and, mm -hmm. you know and, and, and being able to give someone a, you know give her a good life and, and yeah so really uh it's really pretty interesting out there with her yeah she, and you have those and i know i know you guys go you know you're always looking for somewhere to stop that you guys can go kind of sightsee and so daisy's seen a lot you know? it's it's a big plus that, that i had the opportunity to to travel out of the area before i got her and then now with her, I know some of the places to go. And then since I've had her, there's some places I'll never go back to because we step out of the truck and ticks fly to her. And then there's some places where we haven't had any problems with ticks ever. So those are places I try to get back to all the time. And, yeah. You know, I try to plan my routes so we can get to places so we can walk. Yeah. You know, I like walk. I've always loved walking. I love walking. And I know, you know, she does. We get this hot weather like this. So it's 10, 15 minutes and she's done. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> moving on. <clears throat> Honey Badger. So we were going from sixty-nine thousand up to ninety-nine thousand scoville units on this one. We ready? We're ready. Yeah. Extra sauce on this one. I know, right? <laughs> wow! Oh my God! I think that, 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 that the one you had to tap out. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Oh, that's nasty. <clears throat> oh, that's nasty. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, that's nasty. That is gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I think we might need to eat the next one right away just so we can get that taste out of our mouth. Right. Wow. All right, moving on. Um, oh my God. Marvin Keller recently created an app. It's a great tool for you guys to use. I love it. You use the app every day? I try to. Okay. But I, I mean, I, I, I go on there more for like, when I go to new places, or when I go to places, I try to make sure that I give a good set of directions to people either who haven't been there or kids coming in. Because um, sometimes your GPS will either cut you short. Um, you know, the place might be actually a half mile down the road where your GPS says you are, yeah. or it'll want to take you down, you know, the wrong road and, and, and the entrance to the place is actually on the other side of the building or something. So I try to make sure that I let drivers know where it's actually at. Wow. I think we'll start crying, that was bad. <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> I think I need an ice cube yeah. for my lips. <laughs> so for the, the app though, I mean, like you said, you got a new guy coming in, you've been to a place maybe 30 times, you know all the tips and tricks to get in there. They don't. So it's, it's useful to be able to share that knowledge. And I know you're a heavy user of the app and that, you know, that feedback helps. I try to, I, I try to, because it, it's, I've experienced turning down the wrong road and it's not fun. Um, you have to either back your way out 
or find a place where you can turn around, you know, without damaging the truck yourself or anyone else's property or anything. And, you know, and that's a tough one in, in a vehicle that, that large. You gotta be aware of everything going on around you. So I try to put the information out there so yeah. it makes it easier for other drivers to, to, you know. And some of the places I've been have been kind of tricky to find or yeah. get into. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay, the next one here, this is a, a buddy of yours, makes jerky and different sauces. Um, Satan's Enema. We're not sure of the Scoville units. Um, uh, made by uh, Tony Stevens, um, jerky lover, jerky lover and more, out of Union Grove, Wisconsin. And it says on here, it. does not have excessive heat. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll see. Not bad. No. Better flavor than the last one. Wow, that last one's still messing me up. <clears throat> Not bad. Yeah. Okay. I remember, I don't know, it was a year or two years ago. Uh, I called you, I was just checking in, just chit chatting, and I could tell something was off. And you told me that you lost Daisy in Effingham. Oh, yeah. You tell me about what happened there. And... Well, I was still, this was, I guess, uh, what about? Was it two and a half years ago? Something like that. I just, I just got her. So three years ago, I think I had her for what, a week. Which, like maybe that. I always had. I only was had, longer than that. I only had her for a couple weeks. Maybe it wasn't that long. I only had her for a couple weeks, two or three weeks. It might have been three, maybe a month. I got. Just messed my mouth up. Wow. Oh yeah. So I was in a lot of Effingham, and I always let her run free. And uh, she took off. And there was a train coming by, which was extremely loud. So I was calling her, calling her, calling her. And either she didn't hear me or she got too far away. But I couldn't find her. Wow. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. <laughs> two more, huh? Two more. Wow. So yeah, so she took off and, and, and I was already running kind of close to this schedule on this load and, and I, I wasn't like I didn't want to spend the next two or three hours looking for her so I, I, I think I did I call and say that she was missing I thought, you, I thought you were already on your way to Maryland when I found this out yeah but I know the yard guy uh, found her she was in back in the lot yeah so yeah she was waiting in the middle of the lot looking for me um, and so he took her and, and Melissa, um, they met up and Melissa took her home and kept her for a week, which I thought was really cool. And that was one of the things that uh, made me realize where I knew I was, this is where I wanted to be. Yeah, this, this was home. Okay, uh, moving on. The bomb, evolution. Yeah, I would love some more milk. <laughs> The bomb evolution, wow. 500,000 plus. Um, the bomb was one of the worst tasting ones in the other lineup. And this is the evolution of it, so hopefully it made it taste a little bit better. But we'll see. Well, for the most part, only one tasted bad so far. <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, he, he buried him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, if they're gonna make a hot sauce, at least make it taste good. Oh, that's oh, disgusting. That's not even right. <laughs> that's just plain <way> wrong. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> Pause. Wow, that's just rough. That's bad. I'm gonna call that the bottom evolution? Yeah. Yo, just leave that on the shelf. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Just as bad as the oh. first bomb. The bomb. Well, and what was it? That was it? The third. Is that, one? This one here, five hundred thousand skull bill. Was it the third one tasted bad too? Was it? Was it this one? Yeah. Tears of the sun. No. Oh, yeah. We talked about how you like to play the rats around and hitting up scenic places, taking daisy places. What's the favorite place that you guys have been together? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would have to say, uh, where is she like? We like Effingham, to be honest with you. What? Yeah. Out of all the places you've been, Effingham? Yeah. <laughs> what? Come on now. Because of all the trails and the walking. Um, No, no, I didn't like, expect that. That's not what I, <laughs> that's not what I thought was coming. Dude. No, you know what? We like, um, see, a lot of places we go, like, like okay, like North Carolina is beautiful, but most of it's country roads with no sidewalks. Um, some towns in Tennessee, Nashville's cool, but we like Nashville um, because we can actually walk up in through downtown and stuff and through, the, through all the bar areas and stuff on the sidewalks. Um, that's cool. She likes it there. Wow. Oh man, I can't. Wow. It's getting hotter. <laughs> like I'm trying to talk and it's just getting hotter. So, yeah, um, we like Tennessee. Tennessee's got some really cool cities um, that provide sidewalks and walking for people. Uh, pretty much, I want to say the best time we've had as far as uh, Minnesota had some cool places where we went to Minnesota that Sean Williams up there. Mm -hmm. um, they got a good walking trail up there, so while they're unloading me up there, we do a lot of walking. Um, that was pretty cool. See, most of the places that, um, that I've gotten around to see, when I get out of the truck, go. I don't really bring her like when I took, you know, like when I walked around Pier 39. I didn't bring her. When I went around uh, uh, Washington D.C., I didn't bring her. You know, uh, Bourbon Street. I took her. I took her down the Bourbon Street. She liked that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Do we do the last dab? Do we do a dab on it? I think that's what we do. Oh, wow. Last dab, last wing, go big. Man, I can smell that. That smells absolutely horrible. I'm a farter, man. All right. Hot Ones, Apollo. Apollo Pepper, over two million. Doesn't have the exact one, over two million. Okay, there's two of you. Yep. Hold on. <laughs> well, it was better than the last one, but not much. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yes, I'm crying, and it's freaking hot. Wow. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it was your idea. <laughs> That's not good, man. <laughs> All right. Um, Two-part question. Which state has the worst drivers? And which state has the best food? <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Worst drivers are 
That's a tough one because I break. There's actually four states that I think are the worst. Just Starting with Michigan, Connecticut, Louisiana, and Ohio. It just ignited in my mouth. Like all of a sudden, it just there it is. I know. Back. That's why I'm trying to swish the milk around. I right, more milk. <laughs> Just take it. food I've gotten is uh, Texas and Georgia. I will say the two best rib places. Oh, the number one best rib place I've been to is a place called uh, what is it, Snooty's in Ohio. And then Mr. D's in Larry, Texas. Uh -uh. I don't think I can talk anymore, man. Wow. I can't feel my mouth or my tongue. Ah. Oh my. We're out and out. We're done. Uh, thanks for another episode. Wow. Thanks, Nicholas, for being here. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Let's never do that again. Wow. <laughs>